is it visible yes sir fine good yes sir yes so see this is uh, one of the very important chapter and one of the very important unit for competitive exams as well as for phd entrance test and if you talk about any competitive exams this is a very good unit that is molecular symmetry you can say in your paper there are see three units are there so first unit is related to inorganic metal complexes uh, so in, in this and then the, in this third unit there are group theory and symmetry is there and other two units are also from the inorganic chemistry so better way we are starting with uh, this unit first and then one by one we'll going to take remaining unit so see why have you choose this unit first because this is one of the very important unit for all the types of competitive exams and uh, also this is uh, this unit it will be completed in a uh, six to seven lectures within uh, very less number of lectures you will going to cover this unit and you will get good confidence and then once you set with me then we will move to the remaining two unit we will going to take uh, approximate 25 to 20 to 25 lectures in the in this lectures we will trying to cover this paper the entire papers and we will also provide you question bank mcq question banks for your practice uh, you can make a practice using that uh, question bank meanwhile if you face any difficulty in between then you can ask me your mic is you can make it open whenever you want so you can use it, it and you uh, are covering the uh, exam sir uh, net and gate syllabus as well yes definitely i will also mm -hmm. give you see one of the separately one of the separate lectures i will give you for get, that lectures will provide you uh, guidance regarding all kind of competitive exams by which you can secure government job or you can have a, a job in government industries okay or you can have a uh, uh, easily getting admission in research okay so that's uh, one career guidance related lectures is there and that will also i will going to take you separately and also i will provide you full material regarding this competitive exams and that is apart from our syllabus and lectures so that i will also going to give you so you don't worry about that once after one or two lectures is over then meanwhile i will also provide you that things also now symmetry and group theory so this is one of the very important chapters for all kind of examinations now what is symmetry you are knowing very well symmetry that is word is basically associated with the natural beauty you can say any object is looking good when it is in symmetric fashion okay otherwise you don't want to see any object but once it is found to be symmetry it has certain symmetry it is if looking good on both the side then the object having extraordinary uh, overview so that's why symmetry is related to associated with the word natural beauty that is you can say even dimension similarity resemblance, uh, resemblance or you can say uh, your left hand and right side hand both are the mirror image of each other so that's why we are uh, human being is uh, looking good okay they are uh, both the hands or our uh, entire body is bilateral symmetrical so symmetry is a very useful especially now we are applying this concept into structure of molecules and that's why name is given molecular symmetry symmetry is a very very important it is very useful to determine structure of atom it has good application in quantum mechanics spectroscopy stereochemistry okay everything is on based on the symmetry see for any competitive exams three chapters are very important that is one is pericyclic reaction second one is symmetry and third one is stereochemistry so all these three chapters are interconnected if you are knowing symmetry then you can able to understand pericyclic reactions you can able to understand stereochemistry 
if you are knowing stereochemistry, then it will be help to understand pericyclic or symmetry. So they are interrelated chapters. So scientists have applied these studies to analyze the structure of molecules and therefore name is given molecular symmetry. This is one of the example of symmetry that is this starfish is a good example. Object is see looking symmetrical in all this direction to look at this ob object from center. So you will get fine symmetrical structure. Another example of symmetrical shape, symmetrical design. Just look at it from the center and coming out so you will get symmetrical dis equal distribution on all the direction. So these are the see some natural object where symmetry is there. And this symmetry is basically based on the molecule having symmetry and that is because of presence of one or more symmetry element. So symmetry element is very, very important in order to understand symmetry. And there are, if you go for symmetry element, then there are four main symmetry elements and entire symmetry is based on this four symmetry element. Symmetry element means it is a element is nothing but you can say axis of rotation, you can say plane of symmetry, you can say point of inversion, you can say identity. So these are the symmetry element. There are four main symmetrical element, which are these four symmetrical element. First one is identity. Second one is axis of rotation. You can say rotation axis. Third one is you can have a plane of symmetry. Fourth one is point of inversion I. These are the main four symmetry element. So symmetry element is a geometrical entity. It may be axis, it may be plane, it may be point of inversion I, or it may be identity E, by which we can perform symmetry operation. Okay, and symmetry operation is nothing but you can do either rotation, you can do either mirror image, or you can Take, you can apply point of inversion I. So whatever result you are getting, that result should be similar to either original structure or it is uh, equivalent to original structure or it may be exact same original structure. That's why, so that process is we call symmetry operation and this is a valid symmetry operation. What is called valid symmetry operation? So whatever initial object is there, and after applying symmetry element, whatever result you are getting, if both are same or they are equivalent, then we call it is valid symmetry operation. An element about which you have done this process, so that is we called symmetry element. For example, see this is a water molecule having, it is having angular shape. So this is the rotation axis. By using this axis, if you do rotation at 180, this is a rotation is given at angle 180. So 180 angle is nothing but C C2 axis. How this C2 is comes that we see later on. So if you do see rotation at 180, what happens? H1 goes to position of H2 and H2 goes to position of H1. So if you now, if you compare both these structures, then they are equivalent structures. Yes. Okay, hydrogen goes to position of hydrogen, oxygen remains at its position. So this is called valid symmetry process. This entire process is called symmetry operation. This is a symmetry operation and element by which you have done this, you have carried out this symmetry operation. This is called symmetry element. This is we call symmetry element. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. 
So see, yes, symmetry, yes, symmetry element is simply element by which you can do the process. So you will either getting same structure or you may got equivalent structure. So that element is called symmetry element and entire process is we called symmetry operation. So entire symmetry is based on the symmetry element. In order to understand symmetry, you have to understand the symmetry element. So a symmetry elements are again see four main types. Identity, rotation axis, plane of symmetry and point of inversion I. Again see rotation axis two type, proper rotation and improper rotation. Plane are three types, horizontal plane, vertical plane and diagonal plane. So now if you consider this subdivision, so you will, you will have a seven symmetry element. First one is identity. Second one is proper rotation axis, that is CN. Then third one is improper rotation axis, that is we call SN and three sigma plane, sigma H, horizontal plane, sigma V, that is we call vertical plane, and sigma D, that is called diagonal plane. And then last one is point of inversion, I. So these are the seven symmetry element. Entire symmetry is based on this seven symmetry element. So this is H2 molecule, look at here. You can rotate molecule about this axis. You will get similar structure at angle 180. This is you see this is axis is imaginary line passing through center of molecule. So you will get a equivalent structure. So this is called C2 axis. So in the H2O, if you give rotation about this axis, or you can say see 360 circle is divided into two part. So N is a number of fold. The axis is we call CN, where N is called number of fold. That means how in how many part 360 circle is divided. So here 360 circle is divided into two parts. So this is called N is equal to two. So this axis is you can say two. Or N you can calculate using this formula, 360 upon uh, angle of rotation that is theta. Here see theta we have applied, we have given rotation at angle 180. So you can put a 180 theta equal to, then n is equal to you are getting 2. If you put theta equal to 120, then what is value of n? Sir, I did not catch the last word. Yeah. Three. See. Okay. Here, see this uh, any proper rotation axis, this imaginary line is we call proper rotation axis, is represented by CN, where N is nothing but number of fold. Number of fold means how many in how many part 360 circle is divided. Look at here. See, in this case, how many part 360 circle is divided? You tell me. 360 circle is divided into how many part? Three. Three. Not three from oxygen from the center. You can two, uh, two. see it is in a two part one and two. Suppose if you having BF three, then in how many part this three sixty circle is divided? One two three. 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 It is in a three part. Okay, so here the rotation axis passing through boron, that is perpendicular to plane of your mobile. This axis is we call C three. N is equal to we are taking C three. Okay, this axis is called C3. Similar way, see here, this is C2. Now here, how many part 360 circle is divided in case of platinum Cl4? Four. So what is called this axis passing through platinum? Symmetric. It is C4. Okay. Now you tell me, see, I want to, uh, I, I want to check uh, or I want a Cl1 in the, in the position of Cl2. Then what is angle of rotation is required? CL1 ko aapko CL2 ke jagav shift karna hai. So kitna angle chahi hai isme? 90. 90 degree. Okay, so again CN is you can calculate using this formula 360 divided by angle of rotation. 
that is minimum angle of rotation uh, or to shift an atom to its near similar atom. So this angle of rotation is we calculate, uh, we, we can take it. So it is 90 degrees. So if you can put theta equal to 90, then n is equal to you are getting four. Here, what is this theta? Theta is equal rotation. to rotation. 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 It is at angle. Angle of one. rotation. It is at which angle? One. F one ko F three ki jagah shift karna hai. So what is angle of rotation? One twenty. One twenty. So that's why you can put here theta equal to one twenty. So n is equal to three. So this axis is called C three. Here, what is this angle of rotation? In case of H2O? 180. 180. So what is called this axis? Symmetry axis. C2. What is called this axis? C2. C2. OK, this is called C2. This is called C4. This is called C3. So in short, see this axis is N is nothing but number of world. In how many parts 360 circle is divided? Now, second thing is see in a symmetry chapters for clockwise rotation, we are using words minus. And for anti clockwise rotation, we are using superscript plus. See, suppose here you are giving rotation at uh, C2, so it may be C2, C2 axis, C2 plus and C2 minus. If you're giving rotation at about C3 axis, then it may be C3 plus or C3 minus. OK, so C3 plus plus indicate rotation is given in which direction? Anticlockwise. In anticlockwise. And the minus sign indicate rotation is given in? Clockwise. Clockwise. These things you can keep in mind. OK, C3 means a rotation is given at angle 120, but it is in anticlockwise, so it is C3 plus. If it is in a clockwise, then it is C3 minus. Now coming to H2O molecule. See, if you give rotation in the in the H2O, both are same. Whether you are giving a plus rotation or on your, in a clockwise rotation, or you can give rotation in anti-clockwise direction, both are same. You are, you are getting the same structure. Okay. So no question mark for C2 plus and C2 minus. But definitely in the case of BF3, it will be have a different result if you give rotation in a clockwise and in anti-clockwise. Suppose if you are applying rotation about C3 axis in a clockwise direction, in an anti-clockwise direction, C3 plus, what is its result? F1 to F3, F3 to F2, F2 yes. to F1. Yes, F1 shift to the position of F3, good. Here F1, here it place of F2, which atom will come? Here, yes, F3 and here it is F2, good. But if you're giving rotation about this axis in anti-clockwise, then what happens? Sorry, C3 Clock, minus, clockwise. that is clockwise, clockwise. F1 to F2, F2 to F3 and F3 to F1. So see, this both the results are similar or different? These are the different, different, different. Yes, these are the different results and that's why in the case of BF3 molecules, C3 plus and C3 minus are different. But in the case of H2O, it is same. Whether you are giving C2 plus or you can give rotation in anti-clockwise, so atom 1 goes to position of 2. Or you may go for giving rotation in a clockwise direction. Again, you are getting same result. Atom 1 goes to position of 2. So in both the case, result remain similar. But uh, in case of BF3 and platinum Cl4, it will be different result. So this is just a rotation axis. So equivalent state or you, you can getting either similar structure. Equivalent state is nothing but it is a molecule which having certain symmetry. It may be axis or it may be center or it may be plane of symmetry. Okay, or position of molecule is same as compared with the original state. But it just, we have labeled it differently. See here atom one and two is there. So similar two atoms are there, but atom one is we call two in a result and atom two is we called one in the final result. But hydrogen 
goes to position of hydrogen, oxygen remains at its position. So that's uh, so that structure is we called equivalent structure. Now see what happens. You just tell me. This is a bent structure again H two O structures. Of course, I have already taken C2 axis passing through oxygen, which bisect the molecule in this way. OK, this C2 axis is there because it will give you equivalent structure. Now my, now my question is, is it we can take this C2 axis? Is it possible to take this C2 axis? Is you are getting same structure? No. No. Why? What happens if you give the rotation? Then these two structures are different. Why they are different? Because in the original structure number one, where there is no here hydrogen. So this hydrogen goes to positions where already there is no hydrogen and that's why or here both the hydrogens are below the plane. Here both the hydrogens are above the planes and that's why they are different structures, so you cannot take this C2 axis. This C2 axis cannot take on. This is a different positions, different state where you can have a. Not take this axis. Yes. <laughs> That I will going to replace. That is a different structure as I have, but usko dekhna nahi hai. Most of part I have translated into English, so you don't worry about that. But kahi jaga aayega, to main final material aapko provide karunga, usme English mein hoga. Thank you, sir. Okay, ye aapko dekhna nahi hai. Vaise ye jo material hai na, unko modified to kiya hai, but koi jaga koi word se wo aise hi usko as it is rakh diya hoga. Otherwise, aapko si pura jo hai na, main yahan jo explain karta hu, that will be in. English, so you don't worry about that. This is written is different position. Yes, I it or it is a different situation than that of original. But here see different state is a state is called different state. If the state of any action perform on the atoms is quite different than that of original. So we call it is a different state. Now see here three hydrogens are there H1, H2 and H3. Is they are are they are equivalent? In this given structure? No, equivalent here. Yes, of course. Very good. So you cannot have a C symmetry. Why? From where you are getting idea? So suppose I want to take here C2X. Suppose I want to take here C2 axis, then I am not getting equal, equal structure. Because hydrogen, of course, goes to position of hydrogen, but at the same time, this CL is comes to position of hydrogen, and that is different one. And that's why we are not getting uh, equivalent structure and that's why we cannot able to take this operation okay hydrogen to apni jagah jayega hydrogen to hydrogen ki jagah hi shift hoga but jo cl hai wo hydrogen ki jagah aa jayega so that will be different than the original one isliye aap ye process apply nahi kar sakte isme can you take this axis of rotation by uh, can you take this symmetry element here यहाँ C2 axis आप ले सकते हो? No sir. Yes, sir. No. What is what is problem with that C2 axis? The chlorine. Yes. Again, hydrogen H1 goes to position of Cl and that is different one and that's why. Of course, H2 and H3 can change their position, but H1 and Cl can change their position. This is non-equivalent and that's why entire position is non-equivalent. You cannot take mirror image. Here in the center, you cannot take plane. Otherwise, what happens if you take a plane of symmetry? Here you cannot take as that as a plane of symmetry. You cannot take it. Because here, the hydrogen is a mirror image. Here, the carbon is also a mirror image. Here, the carbon is a mirror image. But here, the CL is there. The mirror image is not reflected here. And H3 cannot be reflected here. And that's why you cannot take this plane of symmetry. So, in short, these three hydrogen are different. Or again, you can say that one hydrogen is on terminal carbon or it is very close to Cl. Other two hydrogen are on second carbon. With respect to Cl and among these two carbons, uh, sorry, among these two hydrogen, one hydrogen which is very close that is you call cis hydrogen and another one is trans. And that's why all these three hydrogens are different. 
H1 and H2 as well as H3 all are the different atom. So see entire symmetry is based on the shape. Shape is very, very important to decide the shape. And for that you have required some knowledge about VACPR principles, VACPR theory. So number of hybrid orbitals is simply calculated by number of outermost electron plus number of monovalent atom plus or minus charge. Negative charge is added, positive charge is removed, divided by two. So you will get hybridization, number of hybrid orbit. If number of hybrid orbit comes two, then hybridization is SP expected one is and its expected shape is linear. If H is equal to three, then hybridization required three orbital, three hybrid orbital will be generated. So that is called SP, SP2 good. And if H is equal to four, then it is SP3. H is equal to five, then it is SP3D. So in this way, see, you can have a value of H, you can calculate. Now number of outermost orbital, that is nothing but a valency. Any element from 13 group like boron, aluminum, gallium. So you can take valency equal to three. Any element from 14 group like carbon, sulfur, silicon, germanium, tin. So V is equal to you can take four. Any element from 15 group like nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth. So V is equal to you can take five. Okay, for 16 group element, you can take V is equal to six. Now, yeah, and monovalent atom is nothing but hydrogen and all the halogen. Of course, oxygen is a divalent. Nitrogen is a trivalent, so it, it cannot be taken here. And positive and negative charge is there, so it is added or subtracted. If your hybridization is SP, then what is expected uh, shape? Linear. It is linear. Whatever actual shape is there, but we are expecting linear. If hybridization is 3, SP2, that is trigonal linear. planar. Yes, trigonal planar. What's about uh, SP3? Pyramidal. No, it is tetrahedral. See, expected, we are expecting. Pyramidal, it is not an expected shape. Four valency is there, so it is at four position of tetrahedral simply. It is a tetrahedral. Okay? And yes. if hybridization is H is equal to five, that is SP3D, then it is called trigonal bipyramidal good. And if H is equal to six, then it is octahedral. Okay, it is octahedral. Now, of course, suppose your expected shape is trigonal planar. If you having three electron pair, but see, all the pairs are bonding pair at that time you are getting expected shape. When you are getting expected shape, if all the pairs are bonding pair, then and then see you are getting expected shape, otherwise you are not getting expected shape. Remember, expect for expected shape, you can have a all the pair which are bonding. That is required. If bonding pair is not there, then you cannot have a expected shape. If if Geopathy any of shape. yeah any of the lone pair is there, any of lone pair is present, then it will disturb the shape. Suppose in case of a trigonal bipyramidal geometry, you can have a three pairs, and all these three pairs are bonding pair then definitely it is trigonal bipyramidal. But out of these three pairs, if one of the pair is non-bonding, or you can say lone pair, then your expected shape should be different. Because whenever you are, sorry, then your actual shape will be different. Whenever you are recognizing actual shape at that time, lone pair does not count it. You can, you just forget the lone pair. A lone pair, aap usko forget kar do isko. So what is left? This is left. This is you can bent. say V shape. Yeah, it is V shape or you can say bent shape. 
similar see in the case of uh, tetrahedral geometry you can have a suppose four bonding pair then definitely it's a tetrahedral but if one of the lone pair is there instead of bonding pair then you just forgot this lone pair then you can have a see this is a pyramidal type shape this is called trigonal pyramidal this is the actual shape and see symmetry is not related to any chemical characteristic but it is based on the symmetrical shape jinka shape hai wo same hoga jinka shape similar hoga wo us sare elements aur is sare molecule mein symmetry ek ek tarah ki hogi aur you can say same symmetry is there in molecule in which they are having same shape so is formula se aap si hybridization calculate kar sakte ho for example aapko h2o ke case mein hybridization calculate karna hai तो कैसे मिलेगा एच टू ओ में सेंट्रल एटम ऑक्सीजन है उसके लिए आप वैलेंसी कितनी लगे वी इज इक्वल टू वॉट इज वैल्यू ऑफ वी टू लोन टू बॉन्डर नहीं वो नहीं देखना आपको ऑक्सीजन कौन से ग्रुप में है पहले वो देखना है तो वी इज इक्वल टू वी टेक वैलेंसी और आउटर मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रोन वी Yes, we are we are taking six. Now, what is how many number of monovalent atom? That is hydrogen or halogen. Two. Two. Is there any charge? No, neutral. Divided by two, so it's a four. And four means what is which hybridization is expected? Sp three. Sp three. इसलिए आपको straight forward से ऐसे आपको एट tetrahedral से draw करना ही है ऐसे. अभी देखना है किसी इसमें दो हाइड्रोजन है और हाइड्रोजन मोनोवेलेंट है तो दो जगह आप हाइड्रोजन रखोगे तो बाकी की दो जगह ऑटोमेटिकली लोन पे आएगी और ऑक्सीजन के पास सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन है तो दो यूज्ड हो गए चार बाकी है तो उस हिसाब से आपको सी ऐसे दो लोन पेर और दो बोन पेर से मिलेगी सो अफकोर्स वी हैव एक्सपेक्टेड टेट्राइडल बट टेट्राइडल सेप नहीं रहेगा वो कौन सा सेप हो जाएगा यू जस्ट फॉर गेट लोन पेर देन इट्स बैंड सेप और यू कैन से वी सेप In this way, see, similar in the case of ammonia, Na3. What is its hybridization? Yes, what is, yeah. What is value of V for nitrogen? Five. Five, because nitrogen belongs to 15 group. How many monovalent atoms are there? Three. Three. Or is there any charge? No zero. Neutral. Divided by two, so it's uh, again four. So it's a uh, sp3. So again, expected shape is tetrahedral. But out of this four, see three hydrogen are already there. So three positions are occupied by three hydrogen, and remaining position is occupied by lone pair. In this way. So if you forget the lone pair, then its shape become pyramidal. Okay, its shape become pyramidal. What is hybridization in a, is there in NH four plus? NH4 प्लस में कौन सा हाइब्रिडाइजेशन आएगा सर सेम टेट्राहेड्रल टेट्राहेड्रल आएगा सेम आएगा H इज इक्वल टू सी नाइट्रोजन है तो उसके लिए आप फाइव लगे बिकॉज इट्स बैलेंस इज फाइव इट इज बिलोंग्स टू फिफ्थ ग्रुप फॉर मोनोवेलेंट एट है यहां पॉजिटिव चार्जेस हो सी पॉजिटिव चार्ज इज सब्सट्रैक्टेड and negative charge is added and that's why i have written plus or minus sign so you will get four answer so it is sp3 but see all four hydrogens are there so there is no lone pair so you are getting exact tetrahedral shape similar shape ideal tetrahedral geometry what's about so4 minus 2 Which one is a central atom? Sulfur. Sulfur belongs to which group? Sixteen. Sixteen. So here you can take six. There is no any monovalent atom. Oxygen is a divalent. Charge is minus two. So what we will do? Plus. Can two. we add it or minus? Plus uh, substitute it. Plus two. Plus two. Yeah, because yeah, it's a dead because negative charge. Divided by two, so it's uh, your answer become four. That is again it is sp. Three 
we have hybridization. So see, it is sp3, then you can have a here. See, oxygen is a divalent, so better you can do, you can form a double bond. And two oxygen, because two negative charge is there, so we, we will write down O minus one, one negative charge on each. But it is a tetrahedral geometry. Of course, all these four bonds are ideal tetrahedral. Yeah, it's ideal tetrahedral because valence is occupied. Of course, there is no double bond between sulfur and oxygen or, say, or single bond. Equal bonding is there. It may be 1.5 bonding or whatever. Yeah, so if you draw the resonance structure, then a double bond will be or here single bond will be. So this bonding will be all equal. And the charge will be equally distributed. So this better structure will be like this. This is the expected shape and everything is given in the table. So see in this case, this is remains. Look at here. आपके पास दो यूनिट नेगेटिव चार्ज है और चार ऑक्सीजन है उसको इक्वली शेयर करना है तो सारे ऑक्सीजन पे हाफ यूनिट हाफ नेगेटिव चार्ज आ जाएगा एंड हियर इट इज सी बॉन्ड बिटवीन डबल बॉन्ड एंड सिंगल बॉन्ड सो दिस इज एक्जेक्ट आइडियल टेट्राहाइड्रल सेप दिस इज आइडियल टेट्राहाइड्रल ज्योमेट्री Now this is a trigonal bipyramidal geometry. If you having see five electron pairs, then you can have a trigonal bipyramidal. Out of five electron pairs, suppose zero is lone pair and all are the bonding pair, then you are getting ideal structure, trigonal bipyramidal. But if suppose you are having one of the lone pair is there, and four, four bonding pair, then it's a CSO, or you can say KSF, alphabet letter K is made. But see, remember, lone pair is always occupied at which position? Lone pair is always try, uh, preferred equatorial, equatorial to equatorial. minimize repulsion good. Yes, sir. So lone pair is always, this is called Brett's law. Lone pair is always trying to go at equatorial uh, position. See, look at here. If you're having two lone pair and three bonding pair, then two lone pair remains at equatorial and remaining position at bond pair. So it's a T shape. T shape is made. So in this way you can arrange the different lone pairs. This is the case of ammonia where we have already calculated hybridization. We have checked its shape. BF3 is a trigonal planar because boron belongs to 13 group. Has three electron and all the electrons are used up with monovalent atom. PCL5 is an example of trigonal bipyramidal geometry. SO4 is minus 2 is a tetrahedral, ideal tetrahedral structures. So this is about the shape of the molecules. Now we go for different symmetry element. So there are see seven symmetry elements. So first one is identity. Second one is rotation axis. It is two types, proper and improper. Third one is plane of symmetry. It is three types of the plane of symmetry. Sigma H, Sigma V, and Sigma D. And uh, fourth one is a point of inversion I. It is, you can say, uh, point of inversion that will stack later on, but it is a separate symmetry element. So in all this case, what happens? See, we take it one by one. What is identity? First, we look at that. So identity E is nothing but see, you can say, it is a axis of rotation, especially it is C1 axis, or you can say rotation is given at angle 360. If you apply rotation at 360 means nothing is due in molecule. Whatever shape with any object, that is called its identity. Aap sab ki apne apne identity hai, isli ek dusre ko hum identify kar sakte hai. To jinka shape fix hoga, wo sare object, sare elements, sare molecules, sabhi mein identity element hoga hai. But if you have to do identity E operation, E process, that means you have to rotate the 360 angle. Pe rotation dena. And 360 angle pe rotation means nothing is due in molecule. You have to do nothing. The structure is as it is. Rakhna hai. So that is you can say identity E. 
So this is a first symmetry element that is called identity. Identity means its position. Rotation is given at angle 360, or you can say nothing is two in molecule. Molecule which is remains as it is. Every molecule, all the molecules possesses identity E. You are getting original structure. See about n fold axis. If you give k times rotation, okay, k is a number of times rotation. So if k is equal to n, that is called about c n axis. If you give n time rotation to any molecule, it gives original structure. We will write down identity. We can see justify this is also simply by taking one example. Suppose you have pass the BF three here. So yes, C three axis that is on your side. चलो आप फर्स्ट टाइम रोटेशन देखे C31 k is equal to one that is one time rotation at angle 120. What is its result? F1 कहाँ पे जाएगा? F1 goes to इसे 120 पे रोटेशन देना है. F3 की जगह इसी तरह yes good. और यहाँ पे F2 आ जाएगा. What is result of second time rotation? Again you can give one time rotation. F2 to F1. F2 to F1. तो यहाँ पे आ जाएगा F3, यहाँ F2 एंड यहाँ F1. What is result if you give third time rotation? F3 to F2. Now compare this structure and original one. Both are identical. identical. Yes. So you can say see this process is you can see you operation. Or see three times we have given rotation, so you can also write down C three rest to three. So if n is equal to k, then you will have identical structure. Identity means nothing is doing molecule, same structure मिलना चाहिए. जैसे H two में कितने time आप rotation देखे तो आपको same structure मिलेगा about this axis. ठीक. Two. Two times first. First time में H one और H two की position change होगी तो ऐसे आएगा. सेकेंड टाइम रोटेशन देखे तो सेम स्ट्रक्चर आ जाएगा सेम स्ट्रक्चर आ जाएगा ऐसे सो दिस इज कॉल्ड टू टाइम रोटेशन सी टू रेस्ट टू टू इज इक्वल टू ई इसी तरह आपके पास सपोज प्लेटिनम सीएल4 है तो कितने टाइम रोटेशन देंगे फोर फोर टाइम गुड फर्स्ट टाइम सीएल1 कहां पे जाएगा फर्स्ट टाइम सी4 एक्सिस सी वाला सीएल1 सीएल2 की जगह ओके सेकेंड टाइम आपको कुछ नहीं करना है ऐसा बोलू की चलो ये बी एफ थ्री मोलिक्यूल है इसमें आप आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट ये अप्लाई करो तो आपको ऐसे ही स्ट्रक्चर जैसे है ऐसे लिखना है कुछ चेंजेस करना नहीं है इसमें दैट इज कॉल्ड आइडेंटिटी आइडेंटिटी मींस नथिंग इज डूइंग मॉलिक्यूल ओके दिस इज आइडेंटिटी सो दिस इज अ फर्स्ट सिमेट्री एलिमेंट नाउ सी दिस बटरफ्लाई इज देयर दिस इज आइडेंटिटी सी रोटेशन इज गिवन एट एंगल 360 लुक एट हियर सो यू आर गेटिंग ओरिजिनल स्ट्रक्चर Now see in this case, this is nothing but BF3, or you can say P uh, boron is there in the center, and three fluorine are there. It one is which is labeled with pink, another with blue, and third one with green. So what is its result? If you give first time rotation, what happens? This is three times rotation. See, so you are getting identical structure. If you give rotation at angle 360, see. This is 360, 120 plus 120 plus 120. It's a 360 angle. You are getting same structure. Look at here. Okay, so this is called identity. Look at here. What is angle of rotation? 360. 
look at here see so you are getting similar structure so this is we called look at here three sixty angle pair rotation that about this c four axis four time ultimately up rotation the idea or you can say one time at angle three sixty plus sign used for anti clockwise rotation minus sign used for clockwise rotation this is we already completed two times rotation will give you identical structure in the case of h2 in the case of bf3 three times rotation will give you identical structure see this is one time rotation so pink goes to position of blue color Second time rotation. Pink goes to position of green one, uh, sorry, blue one again. Okay. And this is third time rotation. So you are getting original structure. So that's why you can say that C3 raised to 3 is equal to E. Okay. Is it clear up to here? Yes, sir. It is clear. Yes, sir. Okay. okay, so up to here, Jay, well, you have just started introductory part of symmetry and uh, carry out. See, we have already completed uh, identity E and uh, partially completed rotation axis. Now, tomorrow we will make it continue. In your syllabus, see basic introduction of symmetry element, how to decide molecular point group how to construct a multiplication and character table, how to have an application of character table in spectroscopy or to decide hybridization or how to write the term symbols, everything is there. So that part we will discuss later on. This will be there in your syllabus. So up to here, this presentations, I will send you in your WhatsApp group. OK, and then we will make it continue from tomorrow. Now, see, tomorrow is a Republic Day, so it's a national holiday. So you can tell me, see, is it uh, you will be have a possible to join from 8 to 9? Because tomorrow I am available at 8 to 9. So night meeting, yeah, morning meeting? Good morning, man. Yes, sir. Ho yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so call up 8 to 9 join and then person that way I am I am see out of station. 